Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to, to episode 9 of season 3 of The Rising of the Shield Heroes. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. She okay? That was not what I was expecting, you know. I'm thinking that the guy who is currently holding her right now, who still could be her father and such. Oh. I 
I thought he would have turned into the dragon and then boom, but nah, he died. Oh. How was she supposed to eat the fish? <laughs> <laughs> you got is she gonna do the same thing? Ah <laughs> Right? Like, is he really gonna follow you guys all the way out of here? Yeah, if it flies, then you're screwed. You know, I think a lot of people can actually fight really good when they're drunk. Not everybody, though. <laughs> and next thing you know, someone just flat out of their ass. <laughs> <laughs> exactly so just go stay back <laughs>
No. What in the fucking light show? Oh my god! This child better not fucking die. She got the ability to walk, and I don't need her to die. You know?
，我亲一层，你宝宝。Ready? Right, because that's highly messed up. Damn. Don't be. different now. I mean, I'm sorry. That just took me out for a moment. I was not expecting him to talk. <laughs> Especially. <laughs> this, this, this. <laughs> I 
Yes. <laughs> Do not ever with it, so bring up this cool thing that happened to you. <laughs> no, like, I'm thinking, you, you're like, all right, normal. And then you just hear this deep voice, you be like, what the heck is that coming from? And then you just see him fly out and be like, Please tell me that I was not the only one that just had that ticket out, because, I mean, oh my god. Okay, I, I will say, the one thing between this episode and this week's Undead and Lock, like, the physics on how, with water, oh my god, to a T. I mean, you know, I'll, I'll just say, like, Undeads was a lot more better, in my opinion, because, duh. Uh, especially with the way the water looked in the last couple of minutes of the episode, bruh. But, like, this was just, it was... It's not, this episode's for the water effects, it wasn't top tier as Undeads, but it was still up there for it, because oof. I mean, hand-drawn water effects can be really good, just as good as CGI and such, but, I mean, go rewatch that episode and then watch this episode and then, you know, compare and contrast from that. Now... I feel like there's something I want to say, but I, I can't word it, right? <laughs> I, I mean, but still, the episode was really enjoyable. I'll take that as a win. I mean, seriously, I, I wasn't expecting, like, the battle to be so quickly in this episode. I was expecting it to, like, expand for one more episode. And then we would go back to our main ass quest because, like I said, with this happening in the last couple episodes, it did feel feel very side quest-esque or how like I cannot believe I'm about to compare this to Gungeon again how when you're walking around or swimming around in Gungeon and then you just like you're like oh my god what's that and then you swim over and then you get started in a random quest and, and you're just like I just wanted to walk around or swim or some shit and be like but I mean like and I'm not mad about that I'm not saying that's a bad thing it could be a good thing at the same time too but it was still interesting for a while. the fight was very good I think the cinematography and the choreography ugh, everything there you go everything was just good the last bit with Raptalia doing the last hit and everything and then just once you, you you kill the dragon and then having the sun come up at the same time it was perfect freaking perfect down to the last freaking detail like oh my god like I, I just love when shows do something like that it's just whew, when you just hone that craft and you just mm, I need pretty care to do something like that and, and it probably pretty care has done something similar as to it I just can't think of it. Well, maybe Gold Princess did something like that. I don't know. I gotta rewatch Gold Princess like shit. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, I think it was good. I'm I'm happy that both Fetal and... I can never spell the same the as you, right? But I'm glad that they're both okay. That's all I really cared about at the end of the day. But, <laughs> of course, once again, <laughs> you have Fetal and the rest of them fighting over an alpha me, which is just like the cutest thing in the world. But... Yeah, this was, it was really wholesome, sad at a, bo uh, like, a couple of hearts, but still sweet at the end of the day with it. With the fact is that the villagers were really easily manipulating Ren and such, that's a little fucked up and such, but, um, I get it. It happens, manipulation is very, something, mm, very easy that anyone can do we all know that so hopefully i think that the next time when they do see him even though he was there overhearing them um maybe he might get an apology but who knows and such but mm, that's probably what i can say about that but yeah it was still good mm -hmm. i'm just ready for next week <laughs> going back to the main class that's all i care about <laughs> but this wasn't bad 
But other than that, guys, that is my reaction towards episode 9 of season 3 of The Rising of the Shield Hero. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 10. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!